the Mughals. The Islamic world was changing. India, a divided subcontinent, was invaded by the Mughals. They established a strong empire in the north of India. Babur, a descendant of Genghis Khan and the Tamerlane, led a tribe into Turkestan called the Mughals. The name Mughal is a variation of the word Mongol. Driven out by the Uzbeks, they invaded Kabul in Afghanistan in 1504. They then set their sights on India, a patchwork of often warring Hindu and Muslim states. After an experimental attack in 1519, 12,000 Mughals swept through the Khyber Pass into India in 1526, invading the Delhi Sultanate, the greatest power in India. Babur and his followers were Muslims. When they invaded India, the Ottoman Empire supplied them with guns and soldiers. Babur's troops also rode swift horses, which easily outmaneuvered the Indians' slower elephants. This helped them defeat a much larger Indian army at a battle in which the Sultan of Delhi was killed. After this victory, Babur made Delhi his capital. When Babur died in 1530, his son Humayun became ruler. Humayun invaded western India, but in 1540 the Sours chased out the Mughals, forcing them back into Persia. Humayun returned in 1555, Oko overcame the Sours, and moved back to Delhi. A year later, before he was able to win back the whole empire, Humayun was killed in an accident. Humayun's successor was Babur's grandson, Akbar. He became emperor at the age of 13 and ruled until his death in 1605. Akbar was a great military leader and a wise ruler. His army pushed west into Gujarat and east into Bengal, the richest province in northern India. It produced rice and silk, which provided Akbar with his main source of income. By 1576, Akbar controlled all of northern India. Although Akbar was a Muslim, many of his subjects were Hindus, and to keep the peace, he married a Hindu princess. He believed in religious tolerance, bringing the Hindus into the government and encouraging their overseas trade. He set up a well-organized empire with professional administrators. During this period, India traded profitably with Africa, the Ottomans, Europe, and the Far East. By this time, the Portuguese had trading posts and ports in India. This country also had the world's largest textile industry. Akbar welcomed Christian Jesuits and Persian artists to his court, and he tried unsuccessfully to create a new religion for India. He built schools for children, as well as a new capital city at Fatehpur Sikri. The city combined Muslim and Hindu styles of architecture. Don't forget that if you like this video, subscribe, like, share on Facebook. Every little bit helps. You guys are being great. Comment below and tell me what you think, whether you think it's a great video or a shitty video. I want to hear from you. This channel's for you guys. I'll see you later.